Hello, and welcome back to Jolly Roger Hobbies. Today I have a special announcement. But first, a message from our sponsor, me. We'll see you in 40 seconds or less. Here on my channel, I do videos on general hobbies, which include model building, RC aircraft, planes, helicopters, etc., video games like Star Citizen, photography, geocaching, anything to do with aviation, and I also do product reviews. I put links to items that I showcase in my videos in the description, so be sure to check that out. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll see when I upload a new video. Also, feel free to ask questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. And feel free to converse with one another, but please do it in a respectful way. So guess what? Over the new year, Jolly Roger Hobbies hit 100 subscribers. That's incredible. Especially for me, and I want to thank you guys and everybody for your support. Now, this video is a little bit late. Uh, I had a bunch of computer problems, and so I wasn't able to edit or upload. So, now that's fixed, and now I'm finally getting this video. And again, I wanted to thank you guys so much. I never thought I would reach this much subscribers when I first started. In fact, I wasn't even trying to start a channel. I was actually out flying my P-51 Mustang. And at the time, I had recorded all my flights just to see, you know, what it looked like and if I could fly better. And on one particular flight, I actually <laughs> crashed into a power line. Dumb me. Well, I decided, you know what? I was going to upload it so maybe I could show a couple friends that uh, weren't in the area. And then I thought, well, you know, others might enjoy seeing crashes. The internet does. So I got on YouTube and I uploaded the first video. So I started getting some views and decided to upload a couple other videos. One video I uploaded was me getting a ride in a Robinson R-44 helicopter over a paintball field in Oklahoma. That one didn't get so many views. But I decided then I'd showcase some Star Citizen videos. And at the time, I didn't know anything about editing. Um, in fact, I didn't even have any editing software whatsoever. I just uploaded the raw video and I started getting those views. And my brother had asked me, he's like, well, did you edit this? And I said, no, it's raw, complete. Truth of the matter is, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't have editing software or anything. So I went out and I bought some cheap editing software. And that's pretty much what I've been using. I uploaded some more videos, and this time I started editing a little. And I decided to name my channel Jolly Roger Hobbies. Jolly Roger comes from the fact that that's actually my trucker handle. And I've been called Jolly Roger by many friends and co-workers, well, practically for the last 20 years. So, the skull and crossbones of Jolly Roger just happened to be me. So, Jolly Roger Hobbies. That was the start of the channel. And the one thing I wanted to do is showcase all kinds of videos and hobbies. I didn't want to be stuck down to just one. So that's why it became hobbies and a hobby channel and so far i think it's worked out pretty well at least the feedback i've gotten you guys have enjoyed my content and i hope to bring you a lot more and then after that i set out to fix my mustang which of course had been crashed so i started with the video of just showcasing what i wanted to do to fix it and some ideas i had about it and then I thought, well, why don't I video me doing some of the work and showcase it for others that, uh, in case we're interested or maybe want to learn how to fix their foam aircraft. And so I started that and edited those and come out fairly well for just starting out not knowing what I was doing. When I first started, uh, the only camera I had was actually this little cheap point and shoot. It's a Nikon Coolpix. It worked. Barely. I, I have to admit, the quality wasn't all that great. Didn't have 1080p. 
anything like that. So it worked for what I had. But the first thing I had that camera, the first thing I had to buy my very first piece of equipment was a tripod because I was sitting there holding this camera like this and filming and trying to do it with one hand, hold the bird, and it didn't work. So I bought myself a tripod. World a change. And it worked. So I started to film me working on the aircraft and edit the videos and put them up. And it turned into a build series of that aircraft. And if you ask me, I think that that plane turned out just beautifully. And then I took it out for a maiden flight, which got a lot of views. So I uploaded some more videos and things just kind of took off from there. Now, when I first started, my channel was mostly uh, friends and family. I think I had like 30 subscribers and that was mostly friends and family. And then others started joining and so I started uploading more videos. But unfortunately, real life got in the way of my videos and I ended up taking a two year hiatus to focus on life, family, and take care of the things I needed to take care of. But that calmed down and after two years, I came back and in December of 2018, I decided to upload some more videos. And as I recall now, it was at that time I had about 25 subscribers or so, not the 30 plus that I said before. It was about 25 when I came back. And like I said, it was mostly friends and family. But I quickly realized that this point and shoot from Nikon, as great as it was, just wasn't going to hold it for the future of this channel. I needed something with better quality and better white balance, better focus, and 1080p. And so I saved up my money bit by bit. And I was finally able to buy my Canon T7i, which is what I'm filming on right now. However, at the time, I actually used that unboxing as a video, filming with the uh, Nikon point and shoot. And I didn't expect a lot of views, actually. In fact, surprise, surprise, as of this moment, as of this recording, it is my number one viewed video of my entire channel. At this time, it's got over 6,000 views. That is huge for me and hard to believe that it was shot on that Nikon. Actually, okay, no, it's not hard to believe. <laughs> I admit the quality is not great and I've had several comments on it asking if I filmed on a potato. Not a potato, but not exactly great either. Again, this is all I had. I got the Canon. And in my view, the quality of my video started going up. I started to learn a little bit more about editing, and I hope in the future to get some better editing software. I'm still working on that cheap stuff, but I haven't found one that I can afford and cheap enough yet, but I will work on that. Now, I know one thing, my videos seem to be kind of all over the place, but I didn't want to stick to one genre because, well, me, I never stick to one genre on anything. I have a lot of interests, and I wanted to showcase those interests. So I kind of want to have a little bit of something for everyone. Not every video is for all of my subscribers, but I hope there is definitely something for you. Otherwise, why would you have stuck around? I hope to continue making that content that you enjoy. Now, I don't have an upload schedule. Um, I'm like I mentioned before I am a truck driver in real life and I do I work in the construction field I do dirt work I do in dumps belly dumps side dumps dump trucks pretty much whatever I'm asked to do that job keeps me extremely busy especially during the warm days in the summer months in fact so busy that I have very little time to do videos I'm working probably 70 hours a week give or take, it changes. And on top of that, I take care of my elderly disabled mother. 
So when that doesn't have, and when I'm not spending time with friends and all that, when I can find time, then I do videos. So I apologize if my upload schedule isn't adequate and I'm not uploading a whole lot. I kind of have a lot on my plate. But if you stick with me, I hope to have something in the future for you. So with that, tell me, is there any type of specific video you would like to see? If you have an idea, please feel free to ask me. Put them down in the comments below. So as of this recording, as of this moment, I currently have 104 subscribers, which is just phenomenal. Again, I thank you. I know that sounds cheesy, but I can't say it. thank you enough. So thank you. Now, some of you might have noticed that there are no ads on my channel. Some of you might be saying, yay, you don't have to watch ads or skip ads. And that is great for you. Unfortunately, not so much for me, because what it means is I'm not monetized. Not being monetized means I don't get paid. I don't get any money, any compensation whatsoever for doing these videos. Not for any of the equipment I've bought, not for all making the videos, any of the uploads, pictures, anything. I'm not receiving any money whatsoever. So everything that I have bought for this channel has been 100% out of my pocket. So what that means is I can't get the kind of equipment and, a, and the actual stuff I need until unfortunately I'm monetized. First of all, I want you to know that's not a complaint. And I apologize if it sounds like that because it's not. I am so thankful for everything you guys have done for me. But let me back up real quick and so that way you can understand a little bit. When I started my channel back in 16, you were able to monetize and I did. Um, however, during the time of my hiatus, so I do believe it was 2017, but during that hiatus, YouTube changed their policy. And when they did, they took away my monetization, so I didn't earn anything. Now, the policy as of now states you need a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours of the previous 12 months. And I'm a long way from that mark. And one day I'd like to reach that mark. It's going to be a while, but we can get there. But to get there, I need your help. You can help me out by subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Giving those videos a thumbs up, that really does help. Leaving a comment down below, that helps a lot. And what really helps is sharing those videos. Share them with your family, your friends. And you can share them on uh, platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and any kind of website whatsoever, and you can share those links. All you have to do is click right below this video, the share button. Click on share, and it gives you several options on how to share it. And if it doesn't have the option you want, you could just simply copy, copy that link and paste it anywhere. You can even do it in a text message. Part of my problem is getting my videos out there. Very few people know that my channel exists or those videos exist. This is where you can help is by sharing those videos. That's going to help the most, along with liking the video, subscribing, and commenting down below. Again, thank you all very much for your support and everything you've done so far. I really appreciate it. And thank you for helping me get to 100 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to the 500 mark next. Again, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed my videos. And thanks for watching.